Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are learning how to crochet the trinity stitch. This looks like the star stitch a little bit except for one major difference which all it is is single crochet three stitches together with a chain in between. This is a very pretty stitch, a very textured stitch. It has this boxy effect when you hold it at an angle and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So let's learn to crochet this together. When crocheting the Trinity stitch, you want to start with an even number of chains. Here I have 10 chains to start. The very first thing that I'm going to do is place a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And I always like to go into the back bar, so I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to place a single crochet right here in that second chain from my hook. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a single crochet three together that uses the one that I just went into where this hole is, the next chain and the next chain. So these three stitches here in between my thumbs, I'm going to place a single crochet three together. So one, two, and three. When I get all three of those on my hook, I should have four loops total. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all four. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do it a little bit on the loose side because I do have to crochet into this on the next row. You don't want it to be super, super tight. So you've done your chain one. Now we're going to do exactly what we just did, the single crochet three together with this stitch, the next chain, and the next chain. So pull up a loop in one, two, and three. So you've got your four, yarn over, pull through all four. Loosely, chain one to close the stitch. Go into where you just came out of again, so this hole right here. Go into the next chain, and go into the next chain. You've got your four, yarn over, pull through all of them. Chain one pretty loosely to close that stitch. We've only got two chains left, which is perfect because we need one, two, three. So I'm gonna go one, two, and three. I'm gonna yarn over. And this time I'm not going to chain one. Instead of doing a chain one on your very last one, do not do the chain one to close, but we are going to place a single crochet in the same exact spot. So before I do anything, I'm gonna stick my hook right in here and just do one single crochet. So this is our first row of the Trinity stitch. Now you notice that in the beginning when I placed my first single crochet on the right here, I did not chain in between those either. So never place a chain in your last single crochet of the row or the first single crochet of the row, only in between the Trinity stitches in the center of your piece. So now in order to start the next row and every single row after this, you're going to chain one and turn, so you're looking at the back side. You're going to place a single crochet in that first stitch. Now don't chain or anything. Now we're going to do our single crochet three together. And we're going to go into where we just went into, the top of this one here, and then in this chain space here. So pull up a loop in this first space where you came out of for the last one, last stitch, in the top of the stitch here, and then in this chain space, here, and that's why I said to stay a little bit on the loose side because this one, you don't want your hook having to cram its way in there. So now that you've got your four loops again, yarn over, pull through all of them, and then loosely chain one to close that stitch. Now we're going to go into the same as where we came out of, the top of the next stitch, and the next chain space. And this is all there is to the Trinity stitch. It's remarkably easy, it's a great alternative to the star stitch if you don't want to mess with all of the loops and HDCs or single crochets and all that. So, fun stitch. I'm going to go all the way to the end of this row. Just keep pulling up loops all the way across. Now I've got my four. I'm going to pull through all of them. Chain one. Go into this one, this one, and this one. Now I've got my four, I'm gonna pull through all of them. And instead of doing my chain, because this is the last stitch of the row, I'm not going to do a chain, but I am going to put another single crochet in the same as that little guy right there. 
And that's all there is to the Trinity stitch. You literally just repeat that row over and over and over. And it's got that beautiful effect to it. Let's pull back my, my larger piece that we were looking at earlier. But see how it's got that star stitch look to it? And it's just beautiful. I just love it. I hope you love this stitch too. It's even pretty on the back side because it's the same thing over and over and over. So I hope you love this stitch. I hope you'll use it in something fun, maybe a baby blanket or something fun like that. And I will look forward to creating more with you soon. Thank you for watching.